Uh, hey sis. You are unbelievably ugly, by the way. I see I got all the good genes. convenient is she dead uh, I oh okay I mean I guess we've just I'm sorry, Anna. For years you were trapped here all alone. Now you can finally rest in peace. I'm going to finish this. Noah won't be hurting anybody for much longer. I promise. Okay, so, like, our sister's dead, apparently. Okay, an old bolt cutter. It's a little rusty, but it should work just fine. Uh, good, I guess. So, I just, like, wasted all these shotgun shells. Probably would be the answer to that. Alright, let's go. So, after all that, our sisters still died. That's kind of disappointing. But, you know. Oh, save room. Uh, I mean, it might not be a terrible place to save it, to be honest. Because... I don't know how much longer we have left. Uh, and I'm guessing this is going to be like the final fight. So, sure. Fuck it. Let's just go for a long video. I won't tell anybody if you don't. Alright, let's go. Uh, I mean... There's a lot of bodies here. And I'm guessing that's the correct way to go. So our twin sister literally got the cure and died. That's... Oh no, I guess we can't actually go that way. That's really um, anticlimactic. You know. But, hey, whatever, right? The slaughter room seems like a good a place as any to commit murder. Oh. Well, oh, fuck. Look at that. He's waiting for the blood to drip down, I guess. So, you killed those fools? They yeah. were not worthy of the Polex sect after all. Uh, I guess. This is over, Noah. Your gruesome dream ends here. Without the blood of the twins, you won't be able to bring that thing back to life. I have waited so long to revive our savior. I will show you that my faith has no limit. That's not going to happen. Oh, my child, if only you had faith. Uh. Wait, so he's just going to use his blood to bring it back to life? But that's not how it works, though, is it? Uh, is it? 
So I guess there is a boss fight of sorts. Oh, I see. I see how this is going to go down. So we have like three switch. Oh. Three switches? I guess. Can we just like beat this thing? Do we have to shoot it? I am confused. Apparently we're on danger health too. So... Uh... Okay. Do we have like a time window? I mean, we're getting ammo. So... You know. Whilst this thing is just like gobbing its blood ass. Which is, you know, charming. Ah, hello. There's a... Thing there. Apparently we can go this way too. I saw something shining over here. Can we go down here? I guess we can go down here. Right. Alright. So how do we take this thing out? Can we just like shoot? Really? Can we not? Can we aim at the right direction please? Right, reload. Alright, so that's the last of the shotgun shells. Can we zap this thing? We cannot zap this thing. So how do we hurt it? Unless we've got to do X amount of damage to it. I think that's hitting it. Not really. Oh, yeah. There we go. Right. So, I'm guessing now we've done that, we've got to go hit it. Hit those things. Ah, okay. Oh, right. Hang on. Oh, this is going to be anus. This is going to be real anus. So, are those things still exposed or what? Do you only have time to do one? Yeah, right. Okay, so I see. So, you do only have a limited amount of time. Can we pick the shells up, please? Is that a thing that can happen? Thank you. Um, so I'm guessing we need to push all these buttons and by pushing all of these buttons really can you aim at the thing please like I guess that does actually hit it Right. Now we're on a time limit here. So let's get a bit of a wiggle on. Because, you know, time is money and all that. Okay. Right. I'm guessing that's actually doing some damage to it. No? Apparently that's not doing damage to it. So... Okay. Uh, right. Let's try that again. What do we actually have? Not much, really. I mean, I suppose we've got a few of these. Not quite sure... 
how exactly this works. Maybe we have to shoot the um, light bulby bits. It is going to be a little bit frustrating that if we die again, we've got to go, we've got to like run all the fucking way back. So Yeah, we don't care. That. We don't care. Again, really bad game design to have to replay all of this. But these guys weren't exactly experts. I'm guessing we can't hit it. Really hit it there. I have no idea if that's hitting it. I have no idea if that's hitting it. Absolutely no idea. There is literally zero feedback when that thing's taking damage. Right, that's hitting it. Okay, cool. Right. So now we're hitting this thing. Cool. That's kind of cheap, to be honest. Okay. Right, so that's one done. Yeah, this is a really... <laughs> really cheap boss. Surprise, right? Okay. Now, let's go. Definitely want the med kit. And I guess... Uh, can we even hit it from here? Maybe? Yes, we can. So, there's that, I suppose. Right, it doesn't actually take that many shots, so... I guess that's cool. Right, let's avoid that. Really? Reload. Come on. Nice. Alright. That's actually quite forgiving. Luckily. So that's another bolt. So I don't know how many of those there actually is. I'm guessing... I'm guessing there's three. I'm not really sure. Let's go find the last one. Yeah, let's go find the last one before we actually uh, start shooting that thing. There it is. It's over there. I think. Yes. That's it. Cool. Right, can we hit it from here? No, because she's going to try and lock onto the... There we go. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. So we don't know who was sacrificed to make that big heart thing. Maybe lots of people. Or maybe that thing just always was. Come on. That's it. Right, now hopefully this is the last one. I guess. Yes. Ooh, look at it. That's a pretty fugly fucker. Well, I mean, that's a pretty pathetic god. To be able to be defeated by a giant, giant drill to the head. 
Not that I'm complaining. And also, um, that was a pretty rubbish boss fight. If I say so myself. And how did that thing get there? Well, I guess we're not going this way. <clears throat> He's back to the sewer. Ah, so this is back here. So, like, now what? Do we just escape? Out the front door? Into the sunset? Really? You gonna make us walk all the way out of here? I can't even remember how we got here, so <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, what's with that boss fight, man? That was really kind of shitty. I mean, there was no real punch to it, no real action to it, it just kind of happened. I was expecting... Well... Well, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest with you. But a little bit more than that, I guess. We are, aren't we? We, we literally now have to walk our way out of this place. Right, everywhere's all blocked off. And I guess they're still like, ooh. Okay. I guess we're not going that way. Is there a reason that we're not going? I mean, this door's open. Meeting room. It's going to have us leave in a very arbitrary route, isn't it? Right, so this leads back to the main hall. Wait. Yeah, take it that's blocked off that way. Uh, so we can't go there. Oh, right, yeah. There's the entrance. Is that the entrance? Okay. I mean, we've got some bolt cutters. I don't know if we... We haven't even used those bolt cutters yet. So what were the bolt cutters for? After all, no matter how hard we want it, we can't change the past. I guess not. Okay, so let's go get the last ending, shall we? So here we are fighting these dudes again. Uh, we're going to get ganked. No, we're not. Cause they're too slow. I actually like this pipe shotgun. It's cool. It actually feels reasonably good to use as well. It's got a nice punchy weight to it. And there's something about it only holding one shell, which is kind of cool, actually. Is that it? Oh, no. He's still alive. Right. I had a glitch when I recorded the last ending. Um, I actually shot that guy and it played, uh, the last guy I should say, 
and it actually played the uh, cutscene of the item falling down there. Uh, but the guy wasn't actually dead and proceeded to beat me over the head a few times whilst uh, I had no control of the game. You know, I'm not going to really hold that against it too much because that's literally the only glitch I think I've had in this game. The port itself is very good. I, You know, I will give it that. The game runs fine. There's no issues. Uh, you know, and especially in, you know, 2021 when this came out, that's not exactly a given, is it? It's quite rare. So, how do we get the bad ending? Well, you know this vial of antidote we've got? Yeah, we're not going to give our sister the antidote. Uh, we're just going to, you know, peace out. Now, again, I haven't got this ending yet. I've just read about it. So, you know, I, we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I kind of know what happens, I think. But I don't know 100%. Uh, so we've got like another save tape here. Should we set? I don't even think we need to really save it to be honest. Uh, I mean, who knows? Shit happens. We will save it. Oop. Just in case we die. I don't think we will, but you don't know. Uh, yeah, that do. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna die, but you never know. It is what it is. Uh, I welcome opinions. In the comment section, by the way, let me know w what are your opinions of this. I <laughs> I know what some of you think of this game. Um, you know, maybe I'm over-examining this thing, this this thing. But you know, survival horror. <sighs> a lot of survival horror games have also been very thought-provoking, and that's just one area where this game never bothered. You know, they decided to focus a little bit more on the combat, but the combat is a load of old anus. This, In fact, I would actually say the original Resident Evil 1 has um, just as much fun when it comes to combat as this game. Or should I say, well, yeah, it probably is more satisfying, actually, because you get the cool little head pop animations, which you don't get in this game at all and I know I could just skip all of this but if I've got to do this three bloody times you've got to watch it three times although technically you could engage in a <laughs> a little bit of time travel yourself if you get uh, my drift alright okay there we go Oh, we actually died. See? Wasn't that a good thing that we saved it? Yeah? Yeah? See, sometimes I have big brain moments. Not always. Oh, God. I, oh, we're on caution. We have eight vials of morphine. Jesus Christ. There's actually quite a lot of health items in this game, which, you know, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, you know, if they're only going to offer one difficulty, I'd rather it not be stupidly difficult. Because difficulty... Uh, we, wow, we actually finished this game with a lot of items, too. Um, yeah, I'd rather them not make it stupidly difficult. Um, that's why there should be difficulty options. If somebody wants a harder experience, more power to them. They should be able to um, select it. So... This? Yes, yes, yes. At least they made the cutscene somewhat skippable. I mean, it certainly could have been worse. All right, let's blast you. But what a weak source uh, final boss. Seriously. There's also no feedback for Caroline being injured. You know, there's no injury animation. And I know, there wasn't really... There was no... Um, injured animation for Resident Evil 1 either. That's true. But that was like a 25 year old game. So, you know. Are we injured? We are injured again. The damage is very inconsistent as well, I find. But, you know, the, uh, there's plenty of games where the damage is inconsistent. 
not going to knock it too hard for that. Yeah, can we aim at the thing, please? Did that hit the thing? I have no idea. I have no idea if that hit it. Did that hit it? Does the shotgun not have enough range? That's hitting it. That hit. Alright. Cool. Okay. Now, uh, there were some people um, saying about the item management in this game is really rubbish because there's no item box and you can just carry everything. I don't mind that. You know, I know Resident Evil and a few other survival horror games seem to have this fascination with um, only having a limited inventory and, you know, I can take it or leave it. I'd rather not. I mean, I don't think Silent Hill... Yeah, Silent Hill, you don't have uh, item boxes to worry about. You can just carry everything. Apart from Silent Hill 4, the room, which... <sighs> well, I mean, we don't talk about that. Okay. Now, last one. I don't know... Okay. I was going to say, I don't know why it was showing us these uh, other pillars. Right. Ah, shit. There we go. We need to go down here. Well, that's it, Chief. Right. Uh, weapon variety, it would have been nice to have, I guess, some more weapons, but, you know, there's not a lot of enemies in this game, like 71 or something we killed, and I think we killed all of the enemies, uh, maybe we missed one or two, and we go squish the head again. Yeah, I also don't actually like... Caroline's character design at all. I really don't like it. She looks like some weird anime waifu. And you know what? Hey, if that's your thing, more power to you. But she doesn't look like a real character. She doesn't look like a real person. She looks like she's made a play doh Right, so let's go get the final ending. And I always go the wrong way there. Now, this should be the bad ending. Now, I'm not sure why you wouldn't try to give the antidote to the blob woman. So, I, I guess this is probably one of the harder... Well, actually, I say that, you know... The standard neutral ending uh, is, you know, pretty easy to get. But the bad ending and the good ending, they're kind of moon logic -y, especially the good ending. Who the hell would have thought, I know, we have bolt cutters. Let's go back in time. Because it, because you have to interact, interact with a puzzle that you've already interacted with. that you consider that you've already done. Okay. Ah, uh, we've gone the wrong way. Because of course we have. Okay. I don't actually remember my way back out of it. Ah, oh, here we are, main hall. Right, so, oh yeah, we've got to go, I know we can go down here. I'm not sure how I feel about this whole bit as well, about the fact that we can escape here. You know, you have to walk all the way out. I guess it's okay. Ah, 
that's it. You don't even remorse. You don't even get to see her horribly murdered. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you don't cure your sister, she, you know, comes and kills you as you try to leave. Um, yeah, it is what it is. The endings are very, very basic. Let's just see our results, shall we? So we got ending one remorse. Yeah, anyway, I think I've made my thoughts on this game fairly clear and concise. Uh, I think. I would, I would write, if you really, really want to play it, sure, go for it. But honestly, there is, like, if you're just getting into the genre, there's so many better places to start. I mean, Resident Evil Remake, it's, it's literally, you know, pennies. Uh, I've got a friend, she's never played it. I picked it up in the Steam sales for, like, I don't know, tenner or something, and just gifted it, you know. If you're really stuck with what to gift someone, um, for instance, and y you know they want a survival horror fix, if they haven't played Resident Evil, man, like what? I, some people will pick this. I know they will because it's a newer game. Therefore, it newer, it gooder. No, chief. Uh, and unfortunately, there is no legal easy way of replaying the Silent Hill trilogy. Uh, on anything modern, sadly, but so I guess if you can't, if you can't find a way of uh, getting someone the Silent Hill trilogy, ugh, yes, Resident Evil or Fatal Frame. Then Fatal Frame has that problem as well. I think what helps this game out is just how hard it is to get some of the other ones. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, fuck it, I'm done. I'm out. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.